A girl named Jamie is seen bringing a gift for her teacher, Cohen, because her teacher is leaving the school. Cohen says Jamie is going to do great in her future grades because her marks are excellent. She even assures Jamie that she can get into any college she wants if she keeps working as hard as she has been. Jamie asks Cohen about the new teacher, Matson, who is going to replace her. Cohen tells her that she heard Matson is great and Cohen believes Jamie will like her. A few hours later, when Jamie is about to send her college application, she is talking with her dad. It turns out that Jamie's family is having money difficulties. Her father doesn't have a job and they tell Jamie that they need to borrow money from the college funds to pay for the house because the bank was threatening to take the house. Annoyed at her parents, she leaves her home and goes to Danny's house. At Danny's house, Jamie and Danny are kissing and suddenly Danny's mom comes to his bedroom and catches them both on the bed. Hence, Jamie decides to leave. When Jamie leaves, Danny's mom talks to him and asks him to cool things off with Jamie. Danny gets mad at her mom because it turns out that Danny's father is the one who fired Jamie's dad. Moreover, Danny's parents want him to go to Stanford so she needs Danny to study hard. The next day at the school, Matson begins her class and introduces herself to the students. She gives the students an exam on her first day and tells them that she is just following Cohen's curriculum. After the class ends, Matson approaches Danny and asks him about his grade and how he is doing. Matson says that he needs to maintain his grade in order to stay on baseball's team. Danny asks Matson if she can meet with him after school to talk about his grades, and Matson agrees. After school, they both are talking and Matson asks him if he has a girlfriend. Danny answers immediately that she has one and he praises his girlfriend. Matson starts to like Danny even though he already has a girlfriend. She also gives him teach him how to do his paper. Before Danny leaves, Matson tells him that she has free time after school on Thursday. And she can help Danny with his midterms that are coming up. However, Danny declines it because the weekend is the first anniversary of Jamie and him. Therefore, he wants to spend time together with her girlfriend. Matson then asks for Danny's number so that she can help him with his paper. On the other side, Jamie is picking on his father who is currently fighting with Phil. She manages to separate his father and takes him home. The next day, Jamie gets a C mark on her paper. She asks Matson why she gets a C score and she wants to make it up since she really needs a good grade to get a scholarship to the university she wants. Matson gives her another paper to do by tomorrow so she can't fix her score. Jamie looks anxious and Matson asks her what's wrong and what's more important to her. Jamie agrees to do the paper because she thinks that her college is more important to her than his relationship with Danny. Later on, Jamie meets with Danny and tells him that she can't go out because she has to do her paper. Danny gets annoyed and tells Jamie that grades aren't that important. Jamie snaps back and brings her family's economic situation to him. Unlike Danny, whose parents got money for him to pursue his master degree. Danny feels like Jamie is blaming his dad again for firing Jamie's dad. He then gives Jamie their anniversary's gift and leaves her alone. The next day, Danny's baseball team is losing and ruins his day. He especially can't look forward to his anniversary with Jamie to brighten his day because she has to redo her paper to get good grades. Meanwhile, Jamie's dad is giving up looking for another job because he always gets your too old or your too qualified excuses even though he has 18 years engineering experience. On the other hand, Matson and Danny go to a bar and they drink some beers. Danny isn't sure at first to drink with her teacher, but Matson assures him that it's only one beer and she won't tell anybody about it. They are having a conversation mostly about Danny and Jamie's relationship. Meanwhile, Jamie decides to call her friend, Heather, to ask what Danny is doing, because she feels bad cancelling their anniversary plan. Heather answers that Danny is supposed to come over to Trent's place. However, when Heather asks Trent, it turns out that Danny didn't show up. Back to Danny and Matson, Matson gives him her address just in case he needs extra tutoring. At the school, Jamie asks Danny where Danny was last night and Danny answers he went to Trent's place. Suddenly, Danny and Jamie are asked to attend a party for the weekend and they both accept the invitation. The weekend comes and Jamie meets Danny at the party. Jamie approaches Danny and apologizes for ruining their anniversary. She tells him she wants to make up for it, but when Danny wants to go further in their relationship, Jamie stops him. Annoyed, Danny leaves her. Outside the party, Danny receives a text from Matson. Matson asks him if he knows anything about cars because she has a car problem at the moment. Danny replies with a yes and then goes to Matson's place to help her fix her car. Before Danny arrives, Matson tries to damage the car's machine so it looks like her car is having a problem. Few moments later, Danny arrives at Matson's place and he immediately checks her car. He sees that the problem is the negative battery terminal. Danny's hand looks dirty because of checking the machine and Matson offers him to come inside to clean his hand inside her house. Matson keeps flirting with him inside the house and Danny finally can't resist her so he kisses her. Danny hesitates at first but Matson keeps telling him it's okay and she won't tell anybody. Few hours later, Danny arrives at his home and finds Jamie waiting for him. Jamie asks where he has been and senses something is off. 
She is sure that Danny is with someone and she asks who is the girl he's been with. Danny keeps making excuses and tells her it was no one. Jamie raises her voice when Danny doesn't answer her and makes Danny's mother come out from the house. Danny's mother tells Danny to come inside and call a cab for Jamie because it's already late. Jamie then decides to drive her car instead of calling a cab because she couldn't stand there anymore. Arriving at her home, Jamie comes in and finds her mom is calling Danny's mother to ask about her. Her mother asks where she has been and whether she has been drinking. Jamie replies that she only had one drink but her mom keeps scolding her because she drives while drinking. Jamie snaps back to her mom and goes to her bedroom. The following day at the class, Jamie gets a C score on her second paper. She can't believe that she gets the exact same score as her first paper. She feels that Matson has something against her because she already did what Matson asked. Jamie's friend advises her to try to talk to Matson again about the score. When the class ends, Jamie sees Matson and Danny talking intimately. Danny tells Matson that his baseball coach has threatened to kick him off the team and Matson assures him that if he gets an A score it will be enough to keep him on the team. In order to do that, she offers him to see her after school to help him with his grades. Danny also tells her about his parents that expect Danny to get into a good college like Stanford. Matson relates to his problem and calms him. Moreover, Danny asks about Matson's parents and Matson tells him that she never knew her parents. However, she had a foster mother and she killed herself with insulin overdose. Later on, Jamie meets with Danny. Jamie tells Danny that Miss Matson keeps being extra hard on her because she keeps giving her lousy grades when she knows the work is good. Danny asks why Matson would do that but Jamie replies with an annoyed look. When Jamie wants to ask something, Danny leaves her because he has to run some errands for his mom. A few moments later, Danny goes to Matson's place and asks her if she's failing Jamie on purpose. Matson asks him what Jamie has been telling him and Danny replies with nothing. Matson then assures him that Jamie is just being paranoid. They decide to kiss again and when Danny turns over he sees Jamie is staring at them outside the house. Jamie immediately leaves when Danny sees her. Meanwhile, Matson tries to stop Danny from running towards Jamie but she fails. Outside Matson's house, Danny manages to catch her. Jamie tries to hold back her tears and she can't believe her boyfriend is cheating with her teacher. Danny keeps making excuses but Jamie doesn't believe him. Danny tries to calm her and tells her that he will take care of this. Jamie and Danny then go to Jamie's house. Jamie's mom asks her what happened between her and Danny but Jamie replies that everything's fine sarcastically. Her mom tells Jamie that she's here if Jamie needs someone to talk to. On the other hand, Matson is fighting with a voice inside her head that tells her who would want a sad ugly freak like her. Matson is going crazy because of that voice, therefore the next morning, she decides to approach Jamie. She tells Jamie that she made a mistake by scoring her second paper with a C and gives her an A. Jamie replies sarcastically that the way Matson admitting her fault isn't going to fix the problem with her, Matson, and Danny. A few hours later, Matson tells the headmaster about Jamie's behavior that has become very belligerent. The headmaster offers to talk to Jamie, but Matson assures her that she has it under control to get a compliment from her. Meanwhile, at the parking lot, Danny approaches Jamie to ask how she is doing. Jamie tells Danny that Matson gave her an A and she failed Jamie on purpose. Danny tells Jamie that he will end his relationship with Matson tonight. Jamie replies that after he ends it with Matson, he can come over to Jamie's house to talk about their relationship. Later on, Danny asks Matson to meet with him at the park. Receiving his text, Matson feels happy about it and when she looks at herself in the mirror, she sees a woman tells Matson that no one will want her. Matson ignores her and goes to the park. At the park, Jamie starts to flirt with Danny. However, Danny keeps his face straight and tells her that he doesn't like the way Matson has been treating Jamie. Matson keeps trying to make Danny stay, but she fails. Danny then leaves her alone in the park. While crying, Matson gets in the car and hits Danny with her car. Panicked, Matson puts Jamie's body away and she wipes all his blood on her car. Afterwards, Matson goes to Jamie's house. She puts Danny's blood on Jamie's car quietly without Jamie's awareness. Meanwhile, Jamie approaches his dad outside her house because she thinks she hears something. Jamie's dad assures her that no one is outside, therefore they fail to catch Matson who is trying to fake evidence. The following day, Matson goes to an auto repair shop to clean the blood in her car. The repairman says that he can repair it fast as long as she can pay him more. Matson agrees. The following day, the police are talking with each other about the case of Teenger who was found dead in the park. At Jamie's house, she tries to reach Danny a few times, but she fails. Until a few moments later, her mom tells her that she got a call from the police department. The police say that they have found a body that belongs to Danny. The police also want Jamie and her mom to go to the police station. At the police station, Jamie and her mom meet with Danny's parents. Danny's parents blame Jamie for what happened to their son. They are about to get into a fight but the police manage to calm them. The police begin an interview with Jamie and he asks whether Jamie is talking with Danny during that incident. 
Jamie tells him that Danny says to her he's going to go to her house after he breaks up with his girlfriend, Matson. Surprised, the police are asking Jamie about the proof that their teacher is having a relationship with her student, Danny. Later on, Matson is being interviewed by the police at her house. She denies the fact that she has a special relationship with Danny and she mentions that it is all just Jamie's accusation. Matson tells the police that she made the accusation because she had a changed behavior in the past week. The police didn't forget to ask where Matson was when the incident happened and Matson answered she was in the movie theater. The next day, the police go to Jamie's house and start to search the entire house to find evidence. The police then find blood on Jamie's front bumper. Jamie, who is surprised, doesn't know how to react and the police decide to arrest Jamie for the murder of Danny. Meanwhile, Jamie's parents try to calm her and say to Jamie that she will be out as soon as possible. Meanwhile, Jamie is at the jail, Jamie's mom has been following Matson because Matson is acting suspicious. Afterwards, what Jamie's parents said comes true and Jamie has been released. Jamie believes that the one who kills Danny is Matson. Hence, she plans to trap Matson and make her confess. The following night, Jamie sneaks out from her house and goes to Matson's house. When Jamie almost succeeds in recording Matson's confession, Matson finds out and tries to kill Jamie. Fortunately, the police come at the perfect time and arrest her. Later on, the police finds out that this wasn't the first time Matson is being involved in a student affair. She managed to cover it up and was able to move to LA. The next morning, Jamie receives a letter from Whittendale University and she manages to get into her desired university and the movie comes to an end. From this movie we can learn not to fall easily into temptation because it will not only give you temporary pleasure, but also it can lead you to death. Subscribe to watch more videos like this, turn on notifications, and leave a like and comment to help the channel out. Thank you for watching, and see you, next time.